Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance to Live channel. Thank you for deciding to stop by to watch this presentation. Second Chance to Live presents topics in such a way to encourage, motivate, empower, and provide hope to the individuals who read and watch these videos. I believe that there's tremendous power in identification. When we identify with one another, we encourage we are encouraged to be who we are rather than trying to be someone else. I can encourage you and your gifts, and you can encourage me and my gifts. We don't have to be in competition with one another. We don't have to compare ourselves with one another. We don't have to be more than we are today. So today, I want to share with you a little bit about my process, how I became aware of how my traumatic brain injury impacted my vocational work and my interpersonal relationships. Up to this time, I was not aware. I had no acceptance. I thought it was because of other factors that contributed to my difficulties interpersonally as well as my inability to maintain uh, employment in various work settings, both non-professional as well as professional relationships. When I moved to Florida, I uh, took a job with the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation as a rehabilitation counselor. I worked in this position uh, during a probationary period to see whether the job would be a good fit for me. And during this time I had difficulties writing individualized written rehabilitation plans as well as performing other uh, job duties and responsibilities and having conflicts interpersonally with staff and other members uh, in the community related to uh, being a vocational rehab counselor. Um, due to my ongoing difficulties, I made the decision to talk with my supervisor. At that time, I disclosed that I had sustained a traumatic brain injury when I was uh, younger at the age of 10, and that the brain injury issues may be impacting my ability to perform my duties. After I shared this information with her, she decided to share it with the uh, the office manager, who in turn shared it with the district supervisor. The district supervisor at that time decided to extend my probationary period and to make me a client of the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation. Uh, at that time, I also worked with a the district um, uh, teacher instructor to help me improve on my skills and my writing abilities. Nevertheless, I did not improve. Consequently, I was terminated from the job as a counselor with the Department of Vocational Rehabilitation. I continued to go through various testing, EEGs, uh, cognitive and psychosocial testing, as well as other evaluations. The results from these evaluations and tests showed that I, I should probably not have been able to succeed as far as I had in my life academically and job-wise. Uh, when I received the results of these uh, tests, I was bewildered and as well as angry because I had worked so diligently to apply myself and had succeeded well within academic settings. It was a bewilderment to me. Subsequently, I became angry, and my anger was because I did not want to be identified as a traumatic brain injury because of societal stigma. I was angry because I was not able to do what my heart had I struggled to do in my life through the various academic pursuits that I had uh, undergone, as well as the job setting situations that I continue to have problems with. I share this information with you to give you more of a glimpse into my life. I don't share it with you to be a victim because I believe that all my experiences prepare me to be able to do what I'm doing now on Second Chance to Live. My encouragement to you, my friend, is to continue doing what you're doing. Learn from your experiences and don't give up on your process of loving God or yourself because more will be revealed to you. Realize that God's not against you. He's not mad at you, but instead he's madly in love with you and has a wonderful plan for your life. More will be revealed, so don't give up on yourself, my friend. 
And as always, please contact me through my information page or on my website. I look forward to hearing from you, and thank you for your time. Have a great day, and God bless both you and your family. Thank you.